Here I am punching a few blocks just so you could see I'm actually in creative mode and I'm not lying to you. Can't pick up the blocks. Uh, yeah, creative mode. Somehow I made a new friend. Uh, we're just striding through the valley here. Unfortunately, we fell in the hole and I couldn't get him out. So I felt the best decision was to just leave him there. But before I left, gave him a little love tap on the cheek. At PETA, I didn't hit him. I got hungry on the way there. Figured I might as well kill this cow. The ender dragon's going to be a long distance. So here I am just mindlessly punching this cow. He was a really swift boy, so it was kind of hard to get him. But then I couldn't eat his meat, so that was a waste of time. But then I encountered a creeper in this random mine that I went into. He was uh, very susceptible to damage, but also volatile at any point. Could have blown up and killed me. I was very swift with my movements and gave him the quick 1-2. Very stealth-like, and it's like he didn't even see me, like I didn't exist. As you can see, there's plenty of enemies around us. And then I encountered one of the worst enemies, a Skellington. These ones are the worst just because they lock onto you. And as you can see, the fear in his eyes as he stares me down. I don't know why he didn't shoot at me. I think he was scared. I think I spooked him. But nonetheless, he was weak and I got his bone. So then I somehow found iron. Decided to mine that real quick. Look at me looking all swaggy. Decided to take the helmet off just because it was kind of ugly. Didn't fit my head right. So still looked good nonetheless. Then I encountered a zombie deeper in the mine. And I just basically punched him. But then I decided it'd be pretty funny if I killed him with this bone. So here I am punching him with this bone. <laughs> Still kind of funny. I hit him with a, with his friend, basically. <laughs> what a dumb zombie. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Stinky boy. <laughs> basically, he died, and just as I killed him, I heard lava. And in my head, I'm like, wait a minute. Diamonds, lava, they blend together. So I did what any Minecrafter would do, and I mined straight down. But I encountered another enemy. Quickly stared around, pulled out the bone, and began to work. He was no match. I beat him to the corner. And, uh, you know, I did it really stealth-like again because there's other zombies. Here you see me bravely maneuvering myself across some zombies up until a current swipes me away. At this point, death was uncertain, but I managed to get out of it pretty fast. So at this point, I really wanted diamonds. I was trying to sniff them out with my diamond detector. Then I turned the corner and BAM! Diamond! So I did what any normal Minecrafter would do and I mined them. Began mining the diamonds. Pretty fun. Pretty good idea. And here I am with the diamond armor. Looked pretty sick. At this point, I'm ready to find the Ender Dragon. I started my search for him. Ran into some more creepers. They were no match, so I had a diamond sword. Here I am ready to take slumber near the enemies. But like they say, keep your enemies close. <laughs> So as I rested at night time, it was finally time for the day to hunt for the Ender Dragon. We were on the hunt and we weren't giving up. Somehow found these things, shot him in the sky, supposed to lead me to the Ender Dragon. I pretty much lost hope, looked up at the sky, shot it one more time, and just as I turned, I saw the portal. So my spidey senses were tingling, didn't know if this was the right portal, but I did what any Minecrafter would do. I hopped in, placed the eyes, and I was ready to start. They made kind of a funny sound, sounded like a beat could have freestyled out over it to BH, but I did. So uh, I placed a final I in there, and then nothing happened. So then I realized these were out of order, and I had to break them. And then magically, they appeared back in order, and I placed the eyes in, and I teleported to the Ender Dragon. I could hear him. I was kind of spooked. But I was ready to start this challenge. His army met me head on, but they were no match for me. I had very decked out armor, and I basically just one shot at them because they suck. So then the Ender Dragon thought it'd be slick to try to kill me, but before I actually tried to fight it, I had to shoot down these things, which are beacons. They were basically no match, and I destroyed them pretty quickly. So then I demonstrated my sharpshooter skills as the Ender Dragon basically defied the laws of physics and uh, went through each of these walls. Didn't make any sense to me. But here I am on the ground trying to fight it. It, of course, ran away, it was spooked. But, like I said, I'm a marksman of many calibers, and here I am bringing the sword and attacking it head on. The Ender Dragon was basically spooked and rendered useless against me, but I kept on toying with it. This is what I like to call the Phase 360 no scope. It missed. I didn't hit it. But if I hit it, it would have been cool. And dealt the finishing blow, and just like that, that's how you beat Minecraft on Creative. Hope you leave a like, subscribe, post your own video, see if you can beat Minecraft in Creative as well. Goodbye. Subscribe to Scuff Punks.